All right, guys, check it out. We got some more babies born today. I'm gonna show you right now. Nice clutch of P14 hybrids. And there are the parents. We're gonna pull these out, but I need to make some room first. But it doesn't end there. Follow me. Look at that. We also got Bosmani babies born as well. So this day is turning out pretty nice. Uh, where are the rest hiding? There were four pieces. I only see two. But wait, there's more. Follow me. Last but not least, we also got Black Diamond Babies. And this is a nice clutch as well. Seven pups. And uh, I think that's the mother. And we already have sperm right there floating around. So, it's time for me to get to work. Pull these babies out. I will show it to you as I catch up. Stay tuned, I'm probably gonna break this video up into maybe two or three videos, so you're gonna have to follow in the different parts. But, let's get to work. All right guys, welcome back to the Center for Stingray Biology. I know it's been quite some time since my last upload. Uh, I've been a little bit busy, but here I am. I'm back and we got videos for you. We got pups for you. Yeah, all right, why don't you show them real quick down here. We got these babies born today. And they're all the way back there. We're gonna pull those out for you and show you what kind of goodies we got. But first is my baskets are full, so I need to do some juggling around. So these are the older pups. I'm gonna be taking it out, putting it into a pup tank in that room over there, shifting these guys up, basically playing musical chairs for everybody, and then shifting the new babies up into this basket. I'm gonna pull these pups up now, and at the same time, you guys get to see update on how these fish have developed quite a few of these pups I haven't been selling because I've been holding on to them and trying to watch their development and see you know exactly what I'm producing here you know a lot of times you don't get to see the real potential of pups until you grow them up a bit since this is a, a hybrid type I want to see what I'm really producing before I start selling so let me catch these guys out of this here, and boy, do they look nice. Just give me a minute to finish, and I will show you guys. I'm pleasantly surprised with how these things are developing. Oh, you want to get a step ladder? You can come up here and see what I'm doing. All right, guys, so always up here with me now, and check these things out. This is like a couple of liters ago, and they've developed very nicely, some really cool patterns and like odd odd colors, but nonetheless really amazing stuff here. And they've darkened up a lot. You know, some are gray. Uh, some of these were initially brownish, but now they're darkening up and graying over. Oh my God, look at this guy. Look at the spots on those things. That is awesome. I'm probably gonna have to come up with a trade name for this particular type of hybrid you know that that seems to be the trend with what a lot of breeders are doing now is you know from their own special creation where they they made something pretty nice and they name it which by all means you know I'm down for that so I might need your guys help to come up with a name for these amazing pups and the spotting is just awesome all right guys so we're moving these guys are big enough they've developed really nice I, I i really do like the way they're developed and by me growing these out first and getting an understanding of what i'm creating here it allows me to confidently be able to sell you guys these fish knowing that you guys are getting something really amazing wow look at that one. and each one is unique that's part of the fun of breeding hybrids now in this batch here, which was the previous batch, some have grown faster than others and that's typical. So I'm gonna try to pull out the bigger ones and throw it also into that pup tank. You know what? It's too crowded, let me go get a smaller tray. Let's see. These guys also have turned out really, really nice. And, um, all right, well give me a second. Let me net some of these up. And then I'll show you guys. Oh, come on. Stay. 
Okay, these two look like the two bigger ones. Nice. That is amazing. The contrast is just getting better and better. This one, there's very intricate pattern on it as well, but the contrast is not quite there yet. It's still forming, but I'm sure in a couple of months, or maybe just between, you know, how can I explain it? When they're at that stage where they're starting to change and, and brighten up and, and show that contrast, it can literally happen within in a matter of weeks. But we just gotta give it time and see what happens. All right, let me throw these guys in here as well. So now this tank is pretty crowded, but we're good for now. And these guys will be up for sale pretty soon. I just have to get around to taking individual photos and uh, sexing them all out again. And then I'll be putting those photos up on the website for any of you guys who are interested in those, okay? I think I've held on to them long enough to be able to get a sense that I am providing a quality product for you guys. So now I gotta move those up there and then we'll get the new pups out. Let's get in here. All these guys look more or less the same size. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep all these guys together and do it one at a time. Well, one at a time will take forever. I'll probably try to throw a couple of these in the basket at the same time. Well, take it easy, fella. You can see me. All right, we'll do three at a time. Let me pull these up. Okay, here's. Can you guys tell the difference between these and the the ones that I previously caught. I mean, the markings are starting to come through. You see the white spotting in the middle of the pattern starting to brighten up. So as as time passes and age, with age, you, it will develop into what you saw previously. It's also uh, nice for me to watch how they develop and I can learn. So that way, whenever you guys have questions, I can properly answer the questions. You know, a lot of people are out there, they're just about breeding, selling, and making a quick buck but I gotta know what I'm producing and what I'm providing you guys. So I can sell it with confidence. You know, definitely please, in the comments below, if you have any ideas for naming these, uh, this new strain of mine or, or variant of, of hybrids, please let me know. Um, oops. Now since it does stem from what we call um, P14s, uh, typically, there's been some naming conventions for P14s, which is a uh, galaxy, right? And then there's also Royal Galaxy. And let me explain to you guys what that naming convention means. And hopefully we can apply some of that into naming these fish. Galaxy refers to having a lot of spots. Okay, just like the stars in the galaxy. And then Royal was added on later on when um, there was a focus on trying to breed this strain to have larger spots. So thus came later on the name Royal Galaxy, okay? Now all that still refers back to the pure strain of P14 or Ititiba, which is now actually called Potama Trigon albi maculata. Um, but anyways, enough of scientific names. I need a common trade name. And I personally would like somehow to refer back to those traditional naming conventions. Um, I would like to get the, the name Galaxy in there somewhere so so that it follows some sort of standard naming convention. If you guys have some suggestions for me, I'm all open for suggestions, all right? And put it in the comments below. And if it's something that I really like, I will name this new strain after that. I'm gonna take these last couple of slightly bigger ones there's always going to be runts in a litter and there's a couple of pieces here that are slightly smaller than the rest I'm gonna leave that in there okay and um, that will also help with the new pups being mixed in there as well so that they can learn from their older siblings on uh, how to eat you know, maybe they'll follow in their footsteps and uh, start eating a little bit faster. All right, these will stay in here and continue to grow for maybe about another month, month and a half, 
before I move them out or as tank space becomes available, I will move these out into a bigger tank. But now we are, <laughs> you keep going up and down. Okay, so now we are ready to catch the newborn pups. I already found evidence of mating. This, this tank, they, they breed very well. Like, it's literally like clockwork. And every time that I find pups, I already find sperm in the tank, uh, which was there already when I found the pups this morning. Let's start pulling these guys out. Okay, in the interest of saving time, I'm gonna grab two at a time so that we can speed things up, speed things along a little bit. Oh no, this guy looks like he got bit by one of the adults. I see a like a half moon mark on them. And sometimes that does happen, and that's part of the danger or risk of leaving pups in here too long. Or it could have happened right at birth. You see that? That redness, it's like a U shape, it's almost like a horse shape. Can you see that right there? Right, right there, it's like a U shape, and a little bit red. So it's, it's the same shape as the stingray's mouth. So I'm pretty sure one of the adults you know, took a little nip at this one. Why don't you check the sex? Oh. They are both females. For sure. Oh. He took a big bite out of this one. There's a tear. From look, over here. Mm. It's all torn right along on the bottom here. You see it? Yeah. Yeah. But he still looks strong, so hopefully it will recover. I can see it now. So the stingray also took a bite from the back as well. So he got bit twice. And they were both females, right? I don't know. Yeah. Huh? You say it. Yeah. Uh, so I think next time I shouldn't wait so long to pull the pups out. But usually I never have this kind of problem. I do notice that the pups are a touch smaller this time than last time, right? Last time I think they were born a little bit bigger. Yeah. Yeah. But this time, uh, I think we have one more pup than last time. I think it's seven pups this time. There's two more. Okay. And female and male. So three females and one male. Come on. That's so four, five, six, yes, yeah, seven pups. We got seven this time, which is good. There we go. Looks pretty good. Nice. This one has a lot of spots. Get really close on that one. See it? Mm. Nice. I have high hopes for that one. Ah. Let's see. Male, male. Male, male. Male. So three males. So all together we got four males and three females. One. Quick final look at everybody. I'm gonna put them in here now. And then, hopefully, like I said, the older siblings will teach the younger siblings to eat. But I do see a, a little bit of a size difference here. Cause again, these pups were born a little bit smaller than the last one. See that one is the, from before. These two right here and the one up in the corner. I left those behind and the rest are new ones. But anyways, thank you guys for watching today's episode. Now I'm gonna move on to the other side and catch the other pups.